You know how your mom and dad always tell you, don't you be mean to your little brother because your little brother going to grow up one day and he going to hit you back. And when he hits you back, you ain't going to like it. And we ignore the fact. Listen, everybody know I'm a Marvel fan. I like everything Marvel do. Didn't love Captain Marvel, but I love everything Marvel do. So I went and saw Shazam today. Shazam is DC being a little brother, drinking their milk, lifting weights, and they don't finally grow up. Oh, my gosh. When I say they punch back, when I say they kick back, Shazam, I'm worried, Marvel. Marvel, I'm worried. Why are you worried, Josh? Because listen, after Endgame, DC, dog, if this is the direction DC is going, I don't want to get too many spoilers away. Just know this movie was well written, well acted. The dude that plays Shazam, I've never heard of him, but he got a face that I want to hang out with. If you ever want to hang out with me, you got a face that I want to hang out with. Babe, I'm going out. Who you going out with? The dude that plays Shazam. Oh, have fun. Don't even come on. Take your kids to see the movie. Take your dog. Take your cat. Take your landlord. Call up Sprint. Say, Sprint, I know I ain't been paying you your money on time, but you know what? I ain't been paying you your money on time so I can save money to buy you the Shazam movie ticket. We going to see Shazam tonight. <laughs> because they showing everything in the trailer. This movie saves so many things that weren't in the trailer, man. Like the end, the third act, the, the major fight scene is going to blow you away. You're going to be like, I didn't see all this coming. I didn't know all this was possible. I didn't know. And when I say Megan Good shows up in the movie, Megan Good, baby, you're so fine, baby. When I say you fine, you fine. And I understand you married to a pastor. Lord, forgive me. Do not strike me where I stand. But Megan Good, girl, you ain't age at all. I'm not going to get too much away. Just remember the office scene. When homie going to the office in a, in a meeting, just remember the meeting scene. When I say when he grabbed one dude, I was like, my God, that's your brother. Reason they got the movie so right because what they did, they showed you what a teenage boy would do if he got magical powers like how movies be saying you a teenager with all these powers you ain't gonna do nothing I'm gonna save the world I'm never gonna take advantage of it they showed exactly what be going through a child's mind when they get superpowers man I mean they hit everything right on the head oh great I'm just oh my, I'm worried I'm worried what's happening at the end game I seen the spider-man trailer but what happened at the end when when they what are we gonna do, Marvel? Little brother don't grow up, Marvel. Little brother been drinking his milk, eating his vegetables. Little brother don't got an Adam apple. Little brother don't grow up. DC is little brother, and they looking at us right in the eyes like, Shazam! And this has to be two of the dopest end credit scenes I've ever seen on any level done by any movie studio. This has to be two of the dopest end credit scenes I've ever seen ever witness if you know about dc comics you gonna understand that second end credit scene but if you don't stand up and cheer at that first mid credit end credit scene something's terribly ah dc is coming out the wood where shazam was so good shazam i'm still a regular chubby dude i want to be the dude with the nice face man wink wink remember what i said remember what i said